Hello, my name is Mordred Viking and I'd like to welcome you to this gameplay video for Starion XEV. In this we will talk about the colony creation process where you will choose the background of your colony as well as the races which are present and determine the leader skills that you will acquire. We'll then go through the actual creation process for the leaders where you'll choose the name, you'll choose the empire, their various background and also how they look. So the first thing that we need to do is actually create our colony and to do that we have this screen here. You can see that at the moment we have the Lost Explorers selected. Over on this side we can see a picture of what the colony may look like as well as a representation of which race or races are present. If there was more than one we would see another one over here. Then just below we have a text of the colony itself describing to you the background and the starting situation for the colonists there. Below this we have the ship designs, so these ship designs belong to the Valdus. Every colony has a primary race, which is the first one which is indicated, and you will be using those ship designs. Every colony then also has a couple of bonus leader skills, which are assigned to your primary leader, and those are dependent on the colony position itself. We'll go through a couple of the different colonies very quickly here. If you want to uh, pause the video to see the uh, graphics that we have in place and then also to read the uh, background stories, then please do so, just pause the video. So here we have the Cornucopia project. This is run by the Anarians, as we can see indicated here. We can see their ship types and then also the leader skills. Dropping down to the Pandorite exploration colony ruled by the Tulionitians. Again, we can see the ships a little bit more um, circular, whereas the Inarian ships are rather more flowing with no straight lines, and then also the abilities which you will get for your leaders. Next up, we've got the Renegade Seraven Outpost, manned by the Seraven and their avian-inspired vessels. Next up, we've got the Luxury Estate. The Lux Luxury Estate is the first of the two race colonies that we are exploring today. And we can see that we have both Ursians, the Ursians being listed first and therefore the primary, as well as Jervians. Next up we've got the Ciliant Conglomerate, the Maritas and, and the Masians. Then the Penal Colony, the ever popular colony that we have been using as many, many examples throughout the Kickstarter, which have the Jervians and the Ursians. Then we've got the unlikely alliance between the Masians and the Maritas and uh, one note which I will quickly make here is if you are curious about who any of these races are, we will be releasing updates throughout the Kickstarter where we go into rather more detail about who the races are. I, did, I didn't really want to do that during this video because that is for the gameplay itself. Alright, next up we've got the Science Station, manned by the Charians and the Masians. Then the War Zone, with the Tulianitians and the Seraven. And then finally, we'll take a look at the Hermitage, which is the Seraven and Eurix. But, as you may already have guessed, we are going to be taking the Penal Colony as our example here. The Penal Colony is run by the Jervians. The Jervians are the inmates in the colony. And then we have the Ursians, who are the guards. However, the two races have managed to put aside their differences, for now, and are working together for their mutual survival. Okay, so the next step is then actually creating the primary leader. The primary leader for your empire is basically the ruler of your empire. But don't worry, if you want to change them out later, you can absolutely do so. This is just like your starting ruler. At the moment, we are a Jervian. We are a marshal because of our two chosen skills, ground combat and space combat. However, if we change those skills to a different combination, then your class will change as well. However, we are going to start as a political builder. The pol politics basically gives you uh, uh, bonuses to your diplomacy skill, so you can do deals with other races, or as is the case in this penal colony, it's basically how the two races manage to put aside their differences and work together for mutual survival. And then we've also got the builder here, which will give us a very good economic foundation to build upon. And this combination of the two makes us a viceroy. You can then choose what you want your character to look like. We have a very large range of different busts that you can choose from, and it's a pretty good idea just to scroll through and make a choice. We also have female versions of them as well, which you can see here. And then different backgrounds to emphasize the good features of your character. But I'm going to go back to the Rise Her Setting Sun because I do rather like it. You can also choose which race you want to be. So I'm going to flip over to Ursian. These are the female Ursians which are available. Don't they just look glorious? 
and then the males as well. I'm just going to go and head to one which I've pre-selected just because I think it looks mighty. I like this guy. Okay, so this is going to be known as Mordred, and the empire we are going to be running is that of Mordfjord. If one of these names has already been picked, then it will throw up an error like this. Don't worry about that, though. Because of my elite moderator powers, I will just skip through that. We can also see here on the right-hand side your skills. So the colony, colony leader skills are those granted by the colony type. So because we're a penal colony, we get political and religious. And then the leader skills are the ones granted by this over here. Thanks very much for watching. Next time we will be exploring exploration.